because I don't think I'm going to go with the mini DSP solution. I, I don't think so. I'm still loosely debating it, but I, I don't think that's the right one. And I can't get my hands on that Anthem MRX. I want to try to do something to add some base management and some separate some signal separation in the living room. For a while now, I have been actually just kind of running the mains in the living room full range and then using the crossovers in the actual uh, subwoofer amplifiers to to do a, you know, a low pass on those. So I have those set at 70, 70 hertz going down to the subwoofers using the subamp switches and configurations and then been running the speakers full range. And I think that that's not super great in general unless you have a very, very specific and technically detailed reason to run your speakers full range with subwoofers. It, it's not, you know, it's not, not, not the recommended or ideal way to go. Of course, in order to, to not do that, you have to have some kind of crossover or high pass filtering and such. And normally that comes from a receiver or a processor. And as stated, I don't have anything like that in the system right now for the living room. And if it's gonna be a little while before I maybe get this MRX 540, I wanna go back to the passive crossovers that I had mentioned before. And so a while back on the channel, I, I did a dedicated video on these things actually, these FMOD crossovers. I was able to get these from Amazon, Harrison Laboratories. They make a ton of them. There's the black and the lead, red label. The, the black is a low pass filter. The red is a high pass filter and they come at different frequency settings essentially. They look just like that, right? Little, it's basically a circuit in there, either a high pass or a low pass circuit of course. These are high pass filters uh, tuned for 70 Hertz. So I can use these to filter the signal going into the amplifiers for the main speakers in the living room cut them off with a slope, but cut them off above 70, use the amplifier tuning to have 70 and below go to, the, to go to the subs, 70 and above with slopes on either side going to the speakers. And again, so these are RCA, male on one end, female on the other. The signal goes this way, right? Because the input signal is being filtered. So you kind of have to put it in your signal path the right way. So I figured, well, let's Let's go ahead and just put these back in. I'm curious if it makes a difference, if it adds a little bit more to some clarity and you know maybe dialogue, intelligibility, which is one of the main, main, main things that I'm after up there. I find myself a lot watching things in the living room, even with the Focals. This was true for the triads and it's true for the Focals. Like grabbing for the remote as depending on what's happening, in, in, what's going on, trying to turn things up or turn things down and such. So I'm really eager to get some equalization in that room because I think that's part of it. There's probably some peaks and probably some nulls that I'm being a victim of and I'm grabbing the remote to try to just volume compensate for either one of those. But I'm, I'm curious how this tightens things back up in the living room and I have them. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in again until I can get that that full processing. So the signal chain will go, it's still a zone two setup. So zone two left right stereo RCA output of the AVM70 will go first into one of the subwoofer amplifiers as I have it, as I have had it connected and how I explained in my other zone two videos. We'll come out of the first subamp daisy chain into the second. So that's a full range signal being passed through. Now the two subwoofers will have the full range signal that they can low pass to the subwoofers. And then I come out of that second subwoofer amplifier into the Parasound A52 plus channels that are driving the mains. And that's where these, that's where these folks will go. Um, after the second subwoofer amplifier, but before the speaker amplifier, thus tuning the signal and basically completing the, the high pass, low pass crossover configuration. Now my problem is the output on the subwoofer amplifier is an RCA female. I need to go into an RCA female. And then on the other side of this, I've got an RCA male and the cable from there that I already have in the rack that I bought before is that world's best uh, Mogami wire Nutric connectors and all that, but it is an RCA male to XLR uh, Connection in order to plug in to the parasounds. So obviously female to f uh, Female to female male to male doesn't work so I hopped on Amazon real quick and I found a couple of these folks found a couple of these folks, VCE. And what these are is basically just gender adapters. Let's see if I can get some focus in there. 
So I got a couple of male to males, female to females. They came in like six packs. I think they were like five or six bucks. So even if I don't use these for very long, again, I already had the FMOD crossovers. It was too late to return those. They were only like $25. Those are mine. Spending another 10, 15 bucks, if it's two weeks, if it's two months, whatever, it's fine. I don't know if I'll find another use for these, but little pieces of kit like this in your home theater, you never know when they might be useful. So now I can go male to male to come out of that subwoofer amplifier. And I can go female on the other side to connect to the existing cable. So I'll zip these, these two right in, coming out, of the, coming out of that sub amp, be able to get to my wire and do some more, more listening tests up there and see, see how I like it. Um, see if it makes a difference, if it, if it has improvements and such in some ways. We're, uh, we're two episodes away, my wife and I, from finishing up Falcon and Winter Soldier. So the last couple episodes, I, I've definitely felt, so that show actually, it's taken us so freaking long to get through that show. And quite honestly, I don't think it's maybe some of the best Marvel show. I, I've actually lost the plot. She asked me, we're watching the show the other night, and we're on episode four. And she says, what, what's Carly, the, the main villain, the leader of the Flag Smasher? She's like, can you refresh me again what her motivation is? And I sat there for a minute, and I'm like, you know what, I, don't, I, I can't even probably explain it. Like, we watched an episode of this show, like, every three weeks um, for the, the last, whatever, three months. And so, like, I think she came back from the blip, and now she doesn't like the way things are happening with, with blipped and non-blipped people. Like, whatever. I think, in the end, all that matters is at the end of the show, Falcon... Or Winter Soldier, somebody's going to be Captain America, right? And Zemo's probably going to be free uh, in order to make a Thunderbolts movie. That's probably all that really matters. So we got to finish those last two episodes. But in any case, we had watched some of those episodes with the triads, running them full range and such. And then we watched an episode with the full cows in the living room, running them full range. Now we've got episodes five and six. I'll definitely do at least one of those, I think, now with this in. So that we're kind of watching the same show. We're, we're watching the same actors talking, you know, basically this similar type of audio. I, I know acoustic memories from episode to episode, given our lag in watching them isn't super great. But in any case, this will be my solution, and uh, and we'll see how it goes, how it works for, for music and some of the other TV watching and, and game playing and such that happens in the living room. So if, if you need to do some crossover solutions in your system, and again, you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars or several hundred dollars for a mini DSP or buying other stuff for effectively about 40 bucks total. There you go. High pass filter and e easily available uh, gender adapters, connector adapters for, uh, for your connections. So again, VCE link made by VCE link. Amazon, hey, use my affiliate link. And I, I think this will do the trick. I'm kind of overdue to do it as well. I think I'm finally going to spend some time and set up a bit like of an Amazon storefront. I buy a lot of bits and pieces and things that, that I use and I like or that I would recommend and so on. So I might as well set up like a Techthusiasm storefront and, and folks can visit there and, and be able to easily access some of the stuff I talk about. And hey, maybe I'll make another couple cents in the process if, uh, if folks are using that. So yeah, get this set up. And then obviously in a future vlog, I'll give my thoughts on whether I noticed any difference, it made any, any improvements or, or whatnot, and we'll see all about that. So here's what these look like kind of plugged in. There's my RCA cables with the two male-female adapters for the, the cabling and the F-mods in between. So these will go right in to the subwoofer amplifier. And there we are in the configuration. So the only thing I'm not crazy about is that kind of makes like a, a little bit of a tension on the ports coming off of the amp there. But I think it's okay. I've got the cable tied up just below this point, so it's not really hanging down and pulling on it. Actually, the cable is being held, and there's not too much tension, but that's the FMOD crossover connected in, and then, of course, this wire is going down, 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 all the way down into those A52 pluses.